Saturday 5th of December, about 1pm. Two things, uh, important things to mention today. Number one, it's my dad's birthday, so happy birthday dad. Um, in fact, I want to take this uh, opportunity, as it's your birthday, to give you a shout out. Um, about a month ago, he came to stay with us in London. He said, what's this Instagram thing all about? I don't really get it. So I gave him a quick crash course, no more than 10 minutes. And in the last four weeks, he's proceeded to go from zero to about 650 followers. So uh, if you want a lesson in how to have a great Instagram game, uh, check him out. It's at John Bishop 67 Give him a follow. Uh, check out his photos. They are awesome. Number two, 5th of December. That means 5K. Let's go. Five point two five K done at a four fifty four kilometer pace, and I picked up lunch on the way. Result. Oh, and I clearly need to get a haircut. In my vlog a couple of days ago, I think it was vlog number three, I'll link it in the description up there, I mentioned about how I was struggling to work out what route to run every day. I'm running the date in kilometres every day up until uh, Christmas Eve, so today I ran 5k, tomorrow I ran 6k, and so on and so forth. What that means is I'm running a new route every day, essentially I'm extending the route, but it's proving really complicated to run an extra 500 metres out, 500 metres back, or extra kilometre loop. What I, what's actually happening is I'm running further every day. So today, for example, around 5.25k. I know two days ago I ran nearly 4k when it was a 3k run. And that led me to thinking how that's never happened before. And the reason is because I've always trained over time and not distance. I hadn't done any exercise for quite a long time. So before January this year, I hadn't really done anything for 10 years. I just sort of worked. And uh, that's why I decided to do Ironman this year was to get fit. And I bought a book and the first thing the book says is make sure you train over time and not distance. And I'm so glad that I did that. I had a quick look around on the internet and it seems that it's really popular for people, especially when they're starting out, to train over distance and not time. The reason for that, I guess, is because people think, okay, I'm going to do a half marathon, or I'm going to do a 10k, or I'm going to do a marathon or whatever. And the goal is in miles, so people therefore train in miles. Strongly advise if you're training in distance, stop and start training over time instead. So here are my five reasons for training over time and not distance. Number one, it removes all the guesswork. Now what I mean by that is that you know exactly how hard you've worked and how long for. So 30 minutes is always 30 minutes. 10k is 10k uphill or 10k downhill or 10k in a headwind or 10k on concrete or 10k on grass or so on and so on. Now a perfect example of running over distance and not time and how it changes and why it means that there's suddenly guesswork is parkrun. And I've made a video about parkrun and I'll link that in the description. It's an absolutely brilliant event and if you've never been to one you should go. It happens on Saturday mornings at 9am and it's a 5k run. It happens in a park or somewhere locally to you. You can check it out at parkrun.org, head down there and you'll have a brilliant time. But here's what happens. It's naturally human instinct for people to race and to compete. I tend to go down there and not, it's the only thing I do where I don't wear a heart rate monitor, but I do still know what time I've done because they give you the time at the end. Now what I know is that dependent on the speed of the fastest person that turns up that day depends on how fast I go. What that means is that 5k is taking me varying amounts of time and I'm working, my body is working at different levels depending on the week and depending on who else has turned up. Now that isn't really that logical if I was training 
on a regular basis and that was a really important uh, part of my training program. If I was running 30 minutes, 30 minutes would always be 30 minutes, that doesn't ever change, depending on, regardless of whether I go up or down, and if I can run for a certain period of time and I've got a heart rate monitor and I stick within my zones, then that is about as consistent training as you could possibly get, so it removes any guesswork of how hard you've worked and whether you've done enough that day, and that is my main reason for why I love training over time and not distance. The second reason I love training over time and not distance is this, it's so much easier to plan in your diary. So one of the big things for me when I think about deciding whether to commit to a race or an event or whatever is whether I've got enough time to train and can I fit it in. If my training is based over time then I just treat it like another meeting. So I know for example that if I get home at 6 and I'm going running that I'll be back by 7 and that means that at 7.15 I've had a shower and I'm ready to do whatever with the evening. If I was running 10k that could be a, there could be a 20 minute window. It's absolutely brilliant because it means I can go running at lunchtime. If I've got a half hour session I know that I've got an hour for lunch and I've got half an hour to fit it in. So that makes training over time so good because I know I've done the session, I've completed it and I didn't have to compromise anything else, else in the day. The third reason that I love training over time and not distance and I can hugely recommend it is you don't need a map. And I've proven that in the last few days by not knowing where I'm going and running around in circles and doing that ridiculous thing where you run halfway down a road and halfway back again because you're near your house but you haven't quite run far enough so you're just going to run a little bit further. You know the thing that happens to everyone. The next reason I love training over time and not distance is it builds consistency. Now what I mean by that is it gives you option to build from a base. You know and you can tell much more easily when you've when your body is adapting to run over a certain, adapting to running over a certain period of time. You have to trust, and it is just a trust thing, that your time over distance will fall. So as long as you're training on a regular basis and you're doing all of the necessary components, so you're fueling and you're hydrating and you're giving your body rest, it stands as part of the course that your uh, time over a certain distance will drop. But what it also means is that you can become more consistent over that period of time. So as I say, heart rate monitor, training over a certain period of time will just create a consistency. The key from that consistency is to build on it. So complacency is also a killer. What I mean by that is I don't recommend always staying in your comfort zone. So for example, you might run for an hour and then an hour and 10 and then an hour and 20 and then an hour and 30 and then drop back to an hour. Let your body recover in the fourth week. Otherwise your body takes a bit too much of a pounding. The fifth and final reason that I love running over time and not distance is there are no excuses 30 minutes is 30 minutes is 30 minutes an hour is an hour 10k can be 10 and a half k can be nine and a half k it can be 10k but i stopped it can be 10k but i ran really slowly or i walked half of it 30 minutes in a heart rate zone consistently is always going to be better in my opinion i hope the video has been useful and you've liked it, if so, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe down below so you don't miss any more videos. And I'll see you guys for Vlogmas Day 6 tomorrow.